We might be seeing some rain and some lower temperatures recently, but some parts of the country are dealing with, with much more severe weather. Look at the storms they are getting further east. Snowy roads created some headaches for the morning commute in central Wisconsin. There were multiple crashes on Highway 51, though no serious injuries. Forecasters say more snow is likely by Sunday. And it always helps when it's minus 30, minus 40. That looked like a wet snow, actually, so not as cold in Wisconsin as it has been. But it is cold in Bismarck and Minneapolis and Chicago. This is where the cold air is really sitting in. And when we factor in the wind chills, it's minus 13 in Bismarck. Oh, boy. 17 in Chicago. It feels like 11 in New York. They don't know what to do either. It's awful. But Denver, skipping out on it. It's 39. It's not bad. So our rainfall chances are high as we speak because it's raining right now. And this won't last too much longer, another hour for most of Bakersfield as it goes towards Wasco and Porterville and moves north through Lake Isabella and also into Hatchby too. The snow level is very high, around 8,000 feet. So what does that mean? Colder weather's on the way. It will turn to snow, but there won't be as much rain with this because what's coming from the north eventually is doesn't have as much moisture as this. Look at the rain coming in through San Diego here. They're in for a good soaking. If you're driving into the grapevine tonight, don't worry about snow, just worry about people driving too quickly. Visibility is fine. Bakersfield's at 2, but it is kind of a dreary evening out there. There's a good look into Delano. It doesn't look too bad. 58, winds are northwest at 5. And we're not expecting fog tonight because we'll still have the cloud cover, but it will be damp, and the rain chances will be with us, albeit light, into the morning hours. And then we should dry out with mostly cloudy skies for the weekend. But the sun will pop out late Saturday afternoon and Sunday afternoon. 43 in Lebec, 57 in Porterville. It's certainly not cold or high today. A seasonal day. 59, 58 is the average. And it was in the mid-60s in the Southland and a little warmer in San Francisco with 63. So this storm is the warm one. There's a cold front, and that's colder air moving in. Snow levels are going to drop to 3,500 feet by Sunday late. And that means we could have a dusting of snow on the Grapevine and on the Tehachapi route. However, not a lot of it because the moisture is mainly with this one as it clears the area by 7 a.m. tomorrow, and by tomorrow night it's gone. The next one just fizzles out and doesn't really do much in our area, we don't think. So... Maybe a sprinkle here and there, but that's about it. Your forecast for Saturday, San Francisco, 55 with sunshine in the afternoon. Pockets of it, 63 Fresno, 48 in Yosemite with rain. Tahoe warm in the mid-40s with rain. And snow, of course, at the higher elevations, but at around six to 7,000 feet by Saturday light. Low 60s in the Southland, morning showers. Afternoon looks good. If you're camping at the beach, if you're doing anything along the coast, it looks good by the time we get to the afternoon hours. 67 in Anaheim, we've got low 60s for us on tap, light southeasterly winds. And in the mountains, it won't be very cold because the cloud cover will be there and highs should be about where they were today. Upper 50s to 60 degrees and the same things for our friends in the desert. So tonight we have overnight rain developing and staying with us from time to time. Low 48, winds southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour, high 62, mostly cloudy. Morning showers and then breaking up in the afternoon. Our seven-day forecast gets us into a weekend, but it's going to be windy on Sunday. The front comes through Saturday night, and we will see temperatures staying in the 50s until late next week. All right. Batten down that? the hatches. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thanks, Colin. Sure. Oh.